Hey, mountain friends. Today, I'm gonna to show y'all how to make this delicious, no-bake lemon mousse pie. And it is sugar-free, low-carb too, which makes it uh, kind of a, a non-guilty pleasure. <laughs> so y'all stay tuned and we're gonna make this pie. All right, so now we're gonna get started with the crust. And this is what you need for the crust. You're gonna need two cups of almond flour. And I get mine at Costco, but I've seen it at Walmart. So this is two cups of almond flour. And this is a half a cup of pecans that's been finely chopped. So you gotta toast these for the crust. So I got my skillet uh, heated up here on about a medium high. And you wanna toast, toast the almond flour with the pecans. Uh, it's gonna take probably about 10, maybe 15 minutes on about a medium uh, to medium high heat. You don't burn it, but you'll know that it's ready. They're toasted when they turn brown and you'll start to smell it too, but don't burn it. I just put mine in a nonstick skillet like this right here and the toasted, uh, the toasting part for the crust is very important. Just helps, gives it a really good flavor and Trust me, it is really good. So what I wanna do, I'm just going to keep stirring it and just toast this together until it's a golden brown, which might take about 10, maybe 15 minutes. And we'll come back when that's done. So it's been all right at 10 minutes. As you can see, this, the almond flour and the Pecans are starting to toast and turn color. See, see that? And that's what you want. And I can definitely smell it. And this is just about ready to come off the heat. Just a couple more minutes. And then we're going to make our crust. All right, now the crust is ready to put together, I went ahead and just poured it right into my pie pan. And I'm going to put in my stick of melted butter. And I'm going to put in my third cup of powdered sweetener. And what I do now is just stir this together. And uh, I'm going to just press it into the bottom of this pie dish. Now I like a nut crust. I don't, I think the nut crusts are very good. I, I mean, a lot of people, I mean, you can use um, graham cracker crust, if, like I've said before if you don't want to do this, but I think the nut crust tastes better. My personal preference. And so you just get it to where it's got it all mixed up. It's basically the same way if you've ever made a homemade graham cracker crust, you, you do it the same way basically. And you want to make sure that's off. Now I'll just take my spoon and start pressing it down into the pie shell, the pie, the pie pan. Now it's a little warm, so it's got to chill down. So as soon as I get this done, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for about 30 minutes or so before I put my filling in. Because you sure don't want to put it in there while it's warm you got the melted butter and then uh, you have the where I toasted the nuts and the almond flour it was still hot and warm so just press it up don't have to be all the way up but if you use a spoon like I'm doing here it works better you can just press it right up against the sides
that right there. And once you chill it, it's going to stick together too because that butter is going to re uh, solidify again and your crust will stick together and it won't be crumbly. You don't want crumbly. All right, it's pretty. All right, look at that, y'all. So that's going to go into the refrigerator to chill down at least about 30 minutes while I get the filling ready. So now it's time to make the filling for the pie. And I have a stick, not a stick, I have an eight ounce block of cream cheese in here that I'm going to whip up that I um, had sitting out at room temperature. And then I'm gonna just, you need to use a whisk attachment. If you don't have a stand mixer, uh, you can use a hand mixer. So I'm just gonna whip that up for a couple minutes. So I whipped that up. See, look at that. Now I'm just gonna put in the rest of my ingredients. I'm gonna put in three quarters of a cup of the powdered monk fruit sweetener. And we'll start turning that up. Just a little bit on low. I'm gonna add a half a cup of fresh lemon juice. And we'll whip that together just a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to scrape the sides of the bowl. So I got that mixed in. Now I'm pouring in the heavy whipping cream. This is a cup and a third of heavy whipping cream. Now I'm going to just turn my mixer on high and let that whip up. For about probably three or four minutes what you want is a stiff like a stiff peak see that right there where it will stand up is what you want that consistency right there where to stand up now we're going to put it in our pie shell all righty now it's all ready to put together pie crust is ready your lemon mousse is ready see this is what you want there's what you're looking for this is a pretty easy pie y'all and if you like lemon you could um you could top this with some blueberries if you wanted to this would be good with some blueberries on top because blueberries and lemon go wonderful together so you're just gonna put this in your pie shell. Now, um, if you don't wanna do this sugar-free, you can just use powdered sugar in the place of the monk fruit powdered, uh, powdered sweetener that I use, and you can use a graham cracker crust. So that's that simple. But it's still, it's basically, just uh, like a, it's basically like a no-bake lemon cheesecake. But it's good, y'all. And it's tart, not very sweet. So you want to spread it all out. Get it all in there. Make sure it's all settled down. Now is where you gotta have some patience. Um, you can freeze this pie or you can chill it. If you freeze it, you can either freeze it probably for three, four hours or just set it in the refrigerator for about a half a day or overnight. And it's really good after it sets, but it does have to sit for a little while. But look at that. And you can top it with some 
extra whipped cream if you wanted. But like I said, the blueberries would be really good. So this is, I'm gonna stick this in the freezer for a little while. So I'm gonna put it in the freezer for about three to four hours. And when it comes out, it'd be ready to uh, have a big slice. So while the pie is a chilling out, I'm gonna do a recap and I'm gonna tell y'all what you're gonna need for this pie. So you can pause the video, write it down as you need it. So I wanna give you the recipe to it, okay? For the crust, you're gonna need two cups of almond flour and a half a cup of finely chopped pecans and a stick of unsalted butter and a third cup of powdered monk fruit sweeteners. What I use, but any powdered sweetener would do, or you can do powdered sugar. Now for the filling, you're gonna need a block of cream cheese, which is about eight ounces. You're gonna need one and a third cup of heavy whipping cream. You're gonna need a half a cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Fresh is better with this recipe. I highly recommend it. And you're gonna need three quarters of a cup, three fourths of a cup of powdered monk fruit sweetener. That's what I use or any powdered sweetener that you wanna use, or you can use um, powdered sugar, whatever you want. But there you go. That's what's in this pie. It's really simple. <sighs> All right, so daddy's fixing to tear into this lemon mousse pie and I did top, top it with some fresh blueberries for him. Yes, look at this. He loves blueberries. Now blueberries and lemon together. Mm. It's good. Here we go. I'm gonna get him a blueberry. Trying to, gotta run them down. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for this pie. Tart in it. It's good. It's tart, but it's good. Yeah, that's what you want. You want the tart. Mm -hmm. I mean, that fresh lemon juice. You want lemon. If it's lemon, it's gotta live up to its name, right? Yeah. That's good <laughs> and he stuff. loves lemon pie of any kind. I do. I'm a lemon. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. This is good. Now, we, we chilled it, but um, I did put it in a freezer, but you could definitely need to put it in a freezer overnight would be really good. The longer it sits, the better. He just yeah. couldn't wait. <laughs> He's ready to eat. <laughs> like I said, I love yeah, lemon definitely, pie. <laughs> but you could top this with a more sugar-free Cool Whip if you want. Uh, yeah. Strawberries would be good because strawberries go good with lemon. The blueberries rock. Yeah. Uh, you can add a touch of cinnamon in that crust, but make sure you don't over um, don't over brown uh, toast your almonds and your uh, pecans. Is that what that is? Mm-hmm. Wow. Almonds and pecan crust. And y'all, this is good. I'm telling you, it'd be a hit. It is a hit. Yeah, he's taking a big old bite now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Hope you make this. Uh, thank y'all for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy. Or it's not fancy. Just braiding. <laughs> braiding. <laughs>